Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So today we are going to see about the select inside the PySpark. So the today's agenda is first we will see how we can use the select and second we will see about the alias. So how we can provide any alias of any column. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here as we can see we are having this DF data frame and we are loading the data from the CSV file and after that we are just renaming one of the column which is the item name. So we have renamed from the item name here we have space we have just removed the space from here. So now as we could see we are having total six columns on this data frame. Now if we want to select all the columns then simply we can use the display df as you can see here but another way we can also use that is the select so while we are specifying the select inside that we should be going to specify the columns that we want so if you want all the column either you can specify one by one like the soid then so date then item code then item name then quantity and then value now let me try to execute so we should be going to see all these columns in the output so as we could see here so let's assume if our requirement is we don't want to get the item codes in the output then we simply go here and try to remove the item code from the select statement now let me try to execute it again so this time it should be going to display only five columns so let me execute it again so as you could see we are having this soid so date an item code has not been here so that is gone so this is the first way second way instead of specifying all these columns if you want to select all the column we can specify asterisk as well so let me execute so it will be going to return all those columns so as we can see soid so date item code all these six columns are here now the next thing you need to understand if we want to make any column as a calculative column so what does it mean so here as we can see we are having the quantity and value so this value is the unit price for that particular item so if we want to calculate the amount how the cost of their particular item then we should be going to multiply quantity with the value so how we can do that so here simply let me try to select all the column and after that we want an additional column so that additional column will be df dot your quantity then multiply df dot value now let me try to execute so it should be going to add one more column here and that is the quantity and value so let me try to scroll right side and we can see and here we can see the multiplication of the quantity and value is here so one additional column has been added in this data frame and that is quantity multiplication with the value that we are doing over here but remember as you can see the column name is not proper the column name we want as amount so simply we can provide the alias name of this column so how we can do that here we should be going to use the alias now here let me try to specify as amount now let me try to execute it so what we should be seeing we should be seeing one more additional column here and amount so the column name has been renamed so simply you can use the select statement along with the alias name if you want to specify the alias of any particular column and here simply you can specify all those columns that you want in the output so i hope guys you have understand how we can use the select statement along with the alias thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video